Hey everybody, I'm Jeff Teague. How do you decide between a 24 Tacoma SR5 and an SR? This is a natural comparison when you're looking for the ultimate truck, but you don't want to spend the price of a TRD, off-road, sport, pro, trail hunter, something like that. So this one right here is going to be the SR in Celestial Silver. And this is the SR5 in Underground. So as we walk around the SR and then we work our way over to SR5, check out how all new Toyota Tacoma has changed. It's tough, it's rugged, it's bold, it's in your face. All new interior, all new exterior styling, different powertrains. We're also gonna see between the SR and SR5 a lot of different configurations. And this is where it gets a little tricky, but the powertrain is definitely different on just about every configuration or model code between the SR and SR5. Looking inside the silver SR for our first interior look, we'll see fabric seats. It's pretty well equipped for an entry level midsize truck, I would say. We'll talk about pricing at the end. We're gonna talk about the range of prices and also the specific window stickers we'll show for SR and for SR5, these ones here. And the underground color, boy, that underground color just still jumps out at me. I've seen it on different trims, different models of Toyotas, and it's just one of my favorite colors, especially new colors. Might be the one I would choose. So SR5 is gonna be similar to SR. There'll be some feature differences, which we'll talk about. What about that power though? There are five different model codes within the SR trim level. Again, this is where it gets a little confusing, a little tricky, so let's clarify it. Crystal clear here. Four of them are going to be the detuned 2.4 liter four cylinder engine turbocharged, okay? So that's 2.4 turbo detuned. That'll be 228 horsepower, 243 pounds of torque. You can get more on this one. So what you've got is two wheel and four wheel drive, double cab with a five foot bed, or you can get the two wheel and four wheel drive extra cab, which is the kind that has two doors and a lot of space here, no seats, anything like that. That'll be with the six foot bed. So 228 horsepower, 243. What about that fifth configuration? The fifth one is gonna be what you see right here. This one is the five foot bed, double cab, four wheel drive, but instead of the eight speed automatic transmission, we're looking at a stick shift. Yep, that's right. Six speed manual transmission. It drives smooth. I love the shifting. It's like butter and it gets great low end torque. The other four configurations are not considered iForce. This is the iForce, whoa. So the manual transmission, five foot bed, double cab, four wheel drive, iForce, 270 horsepower, 310 pound feet of torque. We're gonna make it easy. This is all iForce with the SR5. We're gonna have six different configurations or model codes within this trim level. Here we go. We've got the two wheel drive double cab, with a five foot bed, you can do four wheel drive with that five foot bed. This is the two wheel drive, five foot bed. Now we can also do same configuration here except two wheel and four wheel drive with a six foot bed. So that would be something you could choose. And then we could do the extra cab, which is the cab and a half, we'll call it. Actually, we'll know, we'll just call it two front doors and extra room there. That's gonna be two and four wheel drive with a six foot bed. And remember how this one over here, the SR when it was the manual, that's 270 horsepower, 310 pounds of torque. Well, this one here is all across the board. All the SR5s are gonna be 278 horsepower, 317 pound feet of torque. So a little bit better as far as oomph and power and maximum swiftness. And what about suspension differences? Pretty big difference here. They both have, this is the same, double wishbone front suspension. But if it's an SR configuration, all of them it's gonna have in the back leaf suspension. Has it improved in the SR5? Yes, for sure. The SR5 is gonna plain. The SR5 is going to have on almost all the configurations, four of them, it will have the coil spring multi-link rear suspension. So you can see the coil back there. Let's get in here. See our coils? Is that the same? That's all the double cabs. Is it the same for the extra cab? It's not. If you get an SR5 extra cab, no matter what, 
Those two configurations, it's going to be rear leaf suspension. Both trucks have an 18.2 gallon fuel tank. You'll see the fuel door not over on the passenger side. No, you'll see it on the driver's side. If you get the iForce SR, that's going to be an average of 20 MPG combined. A little bit more for you know highway and city and stuff like that, but 20 combined. And then it'll be with the other configurations between 21 combined and 23 combined. This one here, SR5, it's gonna be all 21 combined or 23 combined. In the front ends, we're gonna see a lot of similarities, but one glaring difference between SR and SR5. SR comes with the thick horizontal. I like that, it's bold, right? It's got a spot where fog lights could be, foreshadowing spoiler alert for sr5 you ruined it jeff and then here we've got led headlights and daytime running lights look at that air flows right through there it's about efficiency speaking of efficiency this air dam down here you can remove that if you don't like it it might affect your mpg but nine bolts five on one side four on another i've taken it off myself it can come off if you don't like it take it off so it's got Toyota Safety Sense 3.0, and so does the SR5. Ho! So yes, they both have the latest safety features, LED headlights, daytime running lights, SR5 here, Tacoma. I like that. And it does have fog lights, so that's a big difference if you want that one versus this one. SR, SR5, so the profile, we're not gonna see too many changes, but there is something really important to share. Both keys look the same. But the silver one, the SR, it has smart key on the driver's side. If I were to walk up to the passenger side, I don't think I'm getting in. But the SR should, in theory, have smart key on the driver's side and the passenger side. So I should walk up to it. Victory! We did it. Me, I like it when different trims have different wheels. These ones have identical 17-inch silver alloy wheels. So they're the same. I would prefer that they were a little bit different, but I get it. Just makes it more identifiable. There's another feature that's identifiable too on this SR. It's the fact that you don't see any badging right here. They're not gonna point out that it's SR. And then matte black handles, matte black around the window trim, and we've got the matte mirror right here with no blind spot. Pretty sure you can probably add that. I would think you could. I don't know that for sure. It's got the black shark fin antenna up there. Cool, right? So let's go over to SR5. This one says SR5 right behind the rear window. So that, yeah, that's cool. That's cool. The door handles are gonna be different. They're color keyed with dirt, but a gloss black right here as well. And a color keyed mirror. Does that have standard blind spot on it? Yes, it does, it's right there. Okay, cool. Now we know some differences from the side. Some of this is a work in progress, you know, since this is new, a lot of the research I do is before I film, but some of it is just hands-on. You look and you find out. And take a look at the back ends here. Couple noticeable differences, but not much has changed. On the SR, we're gonna have a considerably lower amount of towing capacity. It's 3,500 pounds all the way across the board, except for this one, which goes up to 6,400 pounds because it has that beefed up iForce engine. So 6,400 pounds. One thing that puzzled me about this one, if you want to come in here, Savannah, I want to show you, it's got, I wonder if it's just because of this trim level, but it's actually got the key so you can lock the tailgate. Backup camera here, Tacoma stamped in here, Toyota stamped in here. It's got the hookups. It also has on both of these, I like this right here. If you want to have a stand jack, it comes flush out here so that you can do your work and that is a lot easier to use. So that would be a choice here. Also notice the standard right here. We just have the traditional tailpipe. We've got an extra chrome exhaust tip here. This one does not have the locking. I don't know if it's because of that specific configuration or not. Towing capacity here on the double cabs is gonna be 6,400 pounds. If you get the extra cab, SR5, that's gonna be 6,500, yo. Pretty impressive. Again, the same stamping, same configuration for hookups, all that jazz. And then if you wanna come over here, I wanna show you, this is the dirt covered chrome exhaust tip. So that might be one extra option. I think it's 159. We'll see that on the window sticker, but that might be something you wanna look at. And then looking at the bed here, it does not have the buttons on either side like the higher 
configurations might have, but it has the composite bed here, should be free from scratching, denting, chipping, all that jazz. It's got tie downs. Let's get on in here closer if we can so we can see the tie downs. The deck rail system, has that been added? We'll look at the window sticker. If you notice, it does not have the sliding horizontal window. That's an upgrade. So let's go over here to our friend SR. And we'll see that this one has pretty much the same makeup. So uh, no differences there. Again, you could choose to add the sliding window. I don't think it's available here, but I don't know that for a fact. I do know that you can get that on the SR5, probably the upgrade package if I had to guess. Back ends. All right, look here. If it's not a Tacoma hybrid, you'll have storage space here. If it's the iForce Max, then you're gonna have storage. Look at this deep bin in here. And then look here, all the way across, we've got room to store your gear. That's kind of cool. Now the backseat space, it's a mid-sized truck. It's not gonna be huge, but it works in a lot of situations. I've got this one a little bit more back. It can even go further back and then we'd really be pinched, but this one's just set for me when I was driving it. Got good headroom here. The headrests keep coming down, but you can lock those into place. Got the grab handles, that's kind of nice. And on SR5, we're switching trucks here, but I'll make sure I let you know if I switch trucks again. Got the same backseat space. This one's pushed more forward, obviously. We've got cup holders here, that's kind of nice. We've got 12 volt circular port, that's also kind of nice. One seat pocket, that's the back. SR5 front interior, there's a lot to see here. You'll see this all the way across the board. I love this configuration here, making pockets so that you can put st things in, but you can also go ahead and affix things to it. We've got bottle openings here, a nice grip. I love the, having the grip there. There's also the, is that the handle right here? Oh no, it's right here. Come on, Jeff, you're better than that, man. This has a pump on the side of the seat on the SR, so you can raise it up, the poor man's power seat. We got that right there. It also folds just about all the way down. Nice console in here. Some of these features I'm gonna go kind of quickly on because they'll be same for SR5. We gotta have stuff to talk about with SR5. Intelligent manual transmission, they call this stall proof. Yeah, you could stall it, but it's a lot easier when you push this to make it smoothly shift, get going when you're in that first gear. We can do different drive modes here. And, oh, what do we have? We got sport, normal, and eco mode there. And then we'll pop out here. This is the four wheel drive, so four low, four high, two high. This one also has, this is kind of interesting here, is it'll start up with the parking brake on. I mean, it's a stick shift, right? So to take this off, you have to, you pull it on to turn it on, but you push it in to disengage it. Got the electronic hold button, the brake hold button, holds you in place about three minutes or so at a light so you can rest your foot. This would be where a wireless charging could go. It's got a hook right here. And then look at this, nice chunky dials. So you can do that with work gloves. Control your temperature this way. Doesn't say the actual number, but hey, you know if it's getting warmer, if it's getting hotter. I am getting so hot. This is eight inch Toyota Audio Multimedia. So it'll have wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. You can just swipe, change your stations. You can separate it by music. Dance electronic, ns, 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 country. We got getting drunk on this plane. Got some rock going on here. The Boss, the Beatles, or pop. So I would want to sing whatever's on this one right here. I want to rock with your baby all night long. It's got the manual auto dimming rear view mirror here. Bobby Brown in the house. Sunglass holder, I like that. And then these lights, easy to use. And it's got two microphones here. Now look at this one here. It does not have the mirrored visor, but it is a slider. So you can block me out, which a lot of people you might want to do. Block Jeff out. All right, door panels, they look the same. They look the same, except for your mirror adjustments are gonna be there and more of your power lock functions. So here, SR, we have the pump. We are here to pump you up. But it also has an electronic lumbar support, which is interesting because might as well go the full Monty and make that power seat. But here we go. So we've got the, the spotlight here, brightness of your dash, all that stuff. And we'll do the horn right here. There we go. So take a look at this steering wheel here. It's like a composite, but it feels leathery. It's kind of interesting. 
And then this right here, this is not the full digital customizable screen, but you can go ahead and change some things on here. It's a nice readout, looks pretty good. This is a push button start as well. So that is our SR. Oh, and by the way, I didn't see this. I should have said it. They got the USBs right here, my friends. And not in here. And let me look in the back. I wanna see if we got them. Okay, not in the back. And we're in the SR5 now. That motorcycle over there is playing Dream On by Aerosmith. Dream on, dream on. Never thought I'd sing Dream On in a video, but we're doing it. We're going crazy. So it's got the same door configuration here. Same buttons, it looks like. This one has the pump up seat. So we're pumping it up, pumping up that jam. Electronic lumbar support. So, I mean, that's nice to have. Same steering wheel configuration. As a matter of fact, the same gauge readout is gonna be the same setup. Now, you can get fully digital large screen here. You can get fully digital 12.3 inch screen just on the higher trims. All right, center console is gonna be the same like this. And then this one has the engine start and stop function that turns off your engine at traffic lights, stop signs, so that you can save a little bit of fuel. If you don't like that, turn it off. That's why the button's there. Electronic parking, parking brake, brake hold. This one has the tow haul and the electronically controlled transmission power. Same digital readout that you see on the air temperatures. This one has a double section right here and then two USBs, 12 volt circular. It also has the eight inch Toyota Audio Multimedia. Same capabilities, holla. It's got the, looks like this one, this is the auto dimming rear view mirror. So that's kind of nice. Sunglass holder, this setup is the same. And then this one has the lighted mirror with our friend slider function. As far as pricing, of course we have to add in delivery and any extra options from the regional port, that kind of stuff, or maybe factory installed options. But generically speaking, an SR is gonna go anywhere between middle 33s to middle 36s. And then our SR5 is gonna go anywhere from middle 36s to middle 40. So those are the kind of the ranges. And now the window sticker. All right, we've got two window stickers here. I'm doing this one in 0.5 mode because it's easier to read, I think. So SR, double cab, four by four, manual. Safety ratings are not posted on the window stickers yet. Here's the fuel mileage, 18, 23, 20. Standard features from the factory right here. Just stop the video if you want to learn a little bit more about either one of these. And then this one from the factory has added in deck rail systems to that 36.9 price. And then we've added at the regional assembly port. Look at that. We've got some floor mats. Got to have floor mats, right? Or you can get your own. Um, Fred Anderson Toyota has these, both of them. FredAndersonToyota.com shows you all their inventory. So this final price on this one is 38.8. We'll see how that changes versus SR5. So different configuration, two wheel drive, not exactly apples to apples, but close enough that it can tell us what we need to know. So this one is the highest, 21, 26, 23, hut, hut. Here we go, standard features. You can see some things that aren't on the SR window sticker here. So it starts at 37.2. Remember that 36.9 is the price on the SR, but that was four wheel drive. So again, you gotta, Kind of extrapolate our numbers. Make your own judgments. So here's the pricing. It has some options added at the regional assembly port, like those Predator step bars and the exhaust tip, the Toyota Guard. So this one is 40961 Again, please go to fredandersontoyota.com. They might have what you're looking for, long distance or local. Thanks for joining me in my Tacoma playground today. I really appreciate it both. So which one is the juice worth the squeeze most? SR, SR5. There are actually quite a few extra options on an SR5, so that might be a swing point for you. The tow capacity, the power, some of the features, or is this one just fine? Do you want the double cab or do you want to go down to that extra cab? That's very intriguing to me. I wouldn't use it for my own purposes, but I wonder if a lot of you would. I think that'd be very handy, very versatile. So anyway, let me know. My two channels, and I'd love it if you followed me on eight different ones eight different platforms. We've got Toyota Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. And then we've got Auto Jeff Reviews, Instagram, TikTok, 
YouTube and Facebook. I did it right this time on the right hand. All right, thanks guys so much and I hope to see you on social media. Bye. And I would love it if you check out the suggested playlist. We've got a lot of 24 Tacoma material and it might be stuff that you haven't seen yet. So check out the playlist. If you wanna look at another model, look at the playlist section under my channel because we've got pretty much any model that you could imagine, previous years, current years. I hope you like my stuff and thanks for subscribing.